I'm here with a great Jerry Coleman, who, by the way, Jerry, my love of baseball, I'm not sure if I told you this, my love of baseball came from listening to you every single day in my room calling Padres baseball, whether it was with Dave Campbell or Ted Leitner or Bob Chandler. How many Padre fans tell you that, that they grew up listening to your voice? Just you. You're the only brave one that I know, believe me. No, I, I get a lot of people that just say, I, I love listening to you, and others that, that don't say it probably didn't enjoy it. I don't know, but <laughs> I, I think that uh, when you're in the market as I was for 40 years, you're going to get some fans somewhere, and the idea is to be right when you talk. The, Padre, the Padres are going to honor you with a statue. What, what, did you, what did you tell them when you first found that out? I wanted it in a bathing suit. <laughs> no, I, not really. I, I was stunned. I, I mean, no one has ever... That has to be the greatest honor of my life. I mean, a statue, for heaven's sakes. I hope it's about 80 feet tall so I can see it. But, uh, you know, I, I, I am totally flabbergasted beside myself of appreciation. Jerry, you shouldn't be because you brought so much joy to so many so many baseball fans with so much class. But I want to ask you about this, okay? I know the Padres are going to, you've done so much with your military career. I know the Padres are going to honor you for your baseball career. Can you give me a favorite moment, whether it's in the broadcast booth, in the dugout, or, or as a player with the Yankees? Well, you know, the last out of the 1949 baseball season was uh, Bertie Tepitz popping up to Tommy Hendrick at Yankee Stadium. And we won the championship on that. And that, it, to me, to this day, remains the greatest baseball moment, personally. But the most exciting was the 1984 season that we beat the Cubs after going down 0-2 and then winning the next three. To this day, you can hear it from Mexico all the way to Santa Barbara. And that, to this day, is the most exciting time I ever had in baseball. Every single time I hear the Steve, that home run call by you, by the way, Goosebumps. Do you ever give yourself chills when you listen to your home run call? No, I don't listen. I turn it off right away. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what to say because, uh, you know, everybody has a different style, different approach. And uh, frankly, I think what you can do, if you get it right, you've done well. You know what I want to ask you in that home run call? Did you ever think before he hit the home run, were you thinking in your mind, okay, this is gonna, if, if he hits it, this is my call, or did it kind of just come out spontaneously? Because there are broadcasters that do rehearse what will they say in that moment. No, this was spontaneous because Garvey, as I recall, had driven in three of the five runs eventually, and now he comes up in the ninth inning. It was a Smith that he went up against, the he big right-hander, yeah. and uh, he hit the ball, and I wasn't quite sure. That, um, it was right center, you know, a long way away in the old ballpark. And all I said was, it's out of here, Padres win it. Where did oh, Dr. Hang a, you can hang a star on that baby come from? It didn't come from that one because I, it was over. That was the most important, that was at the fourth game of the series and we went on to win the next one. But basically, uh, uh, let's see, oh, Dr. came from my friend, Mr. Stingle, my manager, Mr. Stingle. <laughs> and he'd say, got what I mean, doctor? You got me, doctor? And I wanted to say, I'm not sure, doctor, but he kept saying doctor and I picked it up from that. And the, the, the hang a star came from, if you recall, when you're in junior high school, that uh, every Friday had a, a spelling test. And if you got them all right, you got a gold star. And I never got a gold star. <laughs> I get into that but the epitome of excellence, having a gold star. Jerry, who was your favorite, your, your favorite Padres player to cover? Whose career? Who gave you the most joy? And, 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 and at the same time, who gave you the most grief? Well, you know, Ozzie Smith was such a brilliant fielder that just watching him, I'd say, I don't know how he does it. But the greatest Padre player is Tony Gwynn, not, no one close. Not only was a great hitter, he was a great defensive player. He knew what to do and how to do it, and I did it always at the right time. There are a lot of Padre players that deserve credit, but those two, Ozzie Smith defensively, Tony Gwynn offensively, to me, were the epitome of Padre baseball. What broadcaster had the biggest impact in your career? Well, it's Red. Usually, probably more than one. Yeah, well, Red Barber. Actually, when I started, uh, I was in New York. I'd never been on the air in my life, and uh, all of a sudden, they said, "Why don't you do the first inning, Jerry? This is spring training." And I, huh? So I said, "Oh God, three ground balls of the shortstop. That's all." I, do you know what happened? No. Twelve men went to the plate, <laughs> and I couldn't keep score. I didn't know what to do. And finally, one of Zora Mel Allen, who I was working with, he patted me on the shoulder. He said, "Jerry, I think that's enough for today." I went over in a fetal position and didn't move for three days. But Red Barber was a great broadcaster, and he took me aside after every game, went over the critique of the game, and I finally learned broadcasting from him. 
Jerry Coleman, 88 years old. What's the best, 88 years young, what's the best birthday gift you've gotten so far? I mean, what, what, can, what is there left to give you? you? You probably, I think you have everything at this point. Well, because I have a great family and I'm still alive. What more can you ask for? In life? You know, people forget that the most important part of your life, and I said this in my book, are the people you love and who love you and your country. And I mean that. I believe it. Jerry Coleman, I hope you know, we, I'm, on behalf of Padre fans everywhere, baseball fans everywhere, we absolutely love you. Congratulations. I'm going to be hanging out your statue a lot. I'm going to drink a beer by your statue. Well, I proposed her three times to marry me. She wouldn't do it, so what can I say? No, uh, Marty, thank you so much. You're very kind, and uh, I'm kind of excited to see it myself. I have no clue where it's going to be, what it's going to be, or what. We'll find out tomorrow. Thanks, Jerry.